Holy shit, I am back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you guys are new here, hello, what's up? My name is Jacob. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a one brand tutorial with all NYX products. For those who don't know, I was in this year's Face Awards for Australia and New Zealand, which was the first Face Awards ever. And I did get into the top six, which meant that I got a lot of NYX makeup. All right, so I'm actually gonna start off with a non-NYX product. Oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer just to prime my eyelids. This is in the shade Light Ivory. I'm just gonna take a brush and blend that out. I find that using a sponge actually soaks up some of the products, which means that you get less coverage. And I feel like a brush just presses it into the skin a lot easier. I'm going to now set my eye base. I'm going to be using the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And this is in the shade nat Natural. Natural. Beauty School Dropout Palette. It comes like this. So you actually get a lot of everything. But today we're sticking to the shadows. I'm first gonna go in with a little bit of this shade here and the mattes in this palette, you guys. Oh, amazing. Mind you, this palette is literally like $50, I think, or something like that. Such a good price for the quality. Oh my God, I forgot how much I love this shade. Fuck me up. I think I'm gonna do like a goldish, smoky eye, maybe look a little bit of a cut crease. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab a smaller blending brush or even just like a pencil brush like this. I'm going to dip into this shade here and this shade here. I'm just going to pop that right on my outer third. Also, guys, I will be talking about the Face Awards in my next Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. So if you guys were expecting me to come on here and just talk about the Face Awards, I apologize, but I really just wanted to keep this dedicated to a one brand NYX tutorial. I apologize. Sometimes I can ramble on way too much and people just get bored. So <laughs> we're just going to see how this goes. Okay, now I'm going to cut my crease. So for this, I'm going to be using the NYX Lid Lingerie Eye Tint. I haven't used this before. and This is like straight in the packaging. So I'm a bit nervous <laughs> to see how this goes again. Okay, so I'm just going to unscrew this. Okay, so it's got like a little doe foot applicator. Oh wow, that's fucking pretty. I'm just going to go straight on with this. Hopefully I don't fuck it. Okay. Okay. And then just to set that down, cause I don't know how that, like, I don't know if it dries down. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Liquid Gold, which is fucking beautiful. It reminds me a lot of MAC Amber Lights, if you guys are familiar. All right, so I'm just going to pop that straight over. Oh yes. This applicator definitely makes it easy to cut a crease, like so easy. If you guys struggle with like half cut creases or even full cut creases, definitely give these a go because these are so, so nice. So I've got some more of these liquid liners. These are the Glam liners and I haven't swatched or tried any of these. So I'm gonna give these a swatch and see what they look like. Okay, so this one is in the shade Glam Nude. I'm just gonna give this a quick little shake. Oh wow, that is stunning. Can you guys see that? This one is in the shade Glam Platinum. Okay, so you have to build this one up a little bit more, but this one is more of like a true kind of silver. It has a bit more of like a blue undertone to it. I've also got another one, which is more of like an olive. Oh my God, that is fucking beautiful. Can you see the gold glitter in that? Also, I've been getting um some questions from you guys regarding like what I'm gonna do with all of the makeup that was given to me throughout the Face Awards. So I've like already made little piles for like all my family and friends. So now I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for you guys very, very soon, all NYX. I might even throw in some benefits, some BYS, you know, a few things here and there. And then the rest I'm gonna be donating to um, homeless LGBT centers or just even just any LGBT centers. So if you guys know of any LGBT centers here in Melbourne, then let me know. I'll be donating a little bit to there and I'm gonna donate a little bit to women's shelters as well. And if you guys wanna see a video on that, then let me know as well. Cause I don't know, I feel weird showing me donating a shit ton of makeup to charity because I, I don't want to look as if I'm showing off being like, oh, like look what I can do. Like, I don't know. I don't want people to get the wrong impression from it because I really would do the video just to spread awareness that, you know, giving back is really important. So if you guys have any ideas, then please let me know. I'm gonna go in with my normal NYX matte liquid liner. This has quickly become one of my favorite liquid liners ever. Okay guys, so now that I have done that, I'm now going to pop on some mascara and lash off camera and I will be right back. 
Okay guys, so now that I've done that, it is now time to move on to the base. So, I'm gonna first start off with a primer. This is the Pore Filler by NYX. I've never tried this before. This already reminds me a lot of Porefessional, but yeah, definitely feels like Porefessional. 100% it's Porefessional. It actually doesn't feel as dry as Porefessional, which I can appreciate personally. I'm also gonna pop some right in the center. Okay, so now that, that is done, I'm gonna move on to foundation. Now I have three different shades of a specific foundation that I really, really, really wanna try out. So this is the NYX Studio HD Photogenic Foundation. So this first one is in, oh fuck. First one's in sand beige. And then we have soft beige. And now I've also got nude, which is too light. I think I'm gonna go with this middle one here, which is sand beige. Just for comparison, I'm on like an NC30 in MAC foundations. And this feels really, really liquidy already. Like. Like, it is very, very liquidy. I'm also gonna mix in some Away We Glow liquid highlighter with this. I've been really liking glowy skin lately, you guys. So that's what it looks like there. The shade is Moonbeam, and I'm actually just gonna pop some next to the foundation, if I can get any out. I feel like this foundation is gonna be very full coverage. Yeah, full coverage. I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge just to blend this in. Okay, smells interesting. It smells like a hair salon. I don't know, this smells weird. Okay, let's get going. I think this shade is a little bit light. Okay, so now I'm gonna conceal under my eyes. I'm gonna grab the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Nude Beige, which is just like a pot. I usually don't use this under my eyes because they cream, but uh, yeah, this is all I got. It's actually a really good shade match. So I'm going to do a little bit of cream highlighting and contouring, which you guys know I never do ever. But we got these NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Sticks and I'm, I'm yet to use any. So here is what a swatch of it looks like on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to apply that product. Okay, I can see something coming up, but I don't know if I like it. Ah, oh, well, whatever. And then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Wonder Stick Highlight and Contour. And this is in the shade Deep, and I'm going to use this to contour my face. And this blends out literally into nothing, so don't be scared to, like, go ham with this. And then let's also just, you know, yep. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes off camera and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so now it is time to just add a little bit of color back to my cheeks because I feel kind of naked right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the NYX uh, Contour and Highlight Pro Kit and I'm going to grab this shade here. Oh, oh no. I'm going to use this just to bronze up my face. Then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Ombre Blush in the shade Nude to me. These have a pretty, not intense shimmer, but they do have a bit of shimmer to them. I'm kind of proud of this wing though. Like, come on, that's fucking snatched. Okay, so I have all of the shades here and these are fucking beautiful. Come on, these tones. Wait for it, there's more. Like, come on, these are fucking beautiful. Okay, anyway. All right, so I'm gonna grab the Strictly Chic Ombre Blush. Oh, fuck, that's pigmented. What are we thinking of this? Like, what are we thinking of, of these? I don't know how I feel about them. I really don't know what to say about these. Thank you. So I have the micro brow pencil in the shade Brunette. This is very similar to the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. We've got the applicator on one end, spoolie on the other. Color looks a little warm. So let's just pray. Okay, so that is how much product you get in this. So pretty much the entire like cap you get. The tone is definitely a lot warmer than what I'm used to. I'm used to like, really ashy brows, but I'm not, I'm not mad at this at all. Let's go ahead and finish off the eyes. A short shader brush. I'm gonna grab the first two shades that we used and I'm gonna smudge this right along my lower lash line. I'm just gonna pop on some mascara on my lower lashes. I don't have any actual like proper powder highlighters from NYX. The only one that I can think of is the one that is in this palette, which is this kind of gold champagne shade, which is actually really, really fucking pretty. And I'm also gonna mix that with a little bit of the white from the contour palette. Oh fuck, even that's pretty on its own. 
That is so pretty. And I always do some on the forehead. I don't know why, I've just always done it. Just like fucking everywhere, love, you know, just everywhere. All right, now um, I'm still gonna use that white one. I'm just gonna use that for my nose because I want that to be really like beaming. I'm gonna go in with the lightest contour shade in this palette and I'm gonna use this to snatch just the tip and sides of my nose. Okay, now to finish off the lips, I'm going to pop on this, uh, what is this? NYX Lip Smacking Fun Color in the shade Minimalism. That's way too fucking pink. Nope. Actually, I'm gonna go in with a lip liner in the shade Nude Pink. So now I'm gonna go in with a NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm, which I actually wore on the night of the finale for the Face Awards. So guys, that concludes today's tutorial. This one brand tutorial, my workspace is a fucking mess right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any video requests, please leave them down below and I will of course get around to filming those for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.